So last year I watched What Men Want, which is the remake of What Women Want. I had never seen What Women Want. I meant to get around to watching it right before I watched What Men Want. I had no clue what to expect, uh, which movie was going to be better, and it's come to my attention since I've watched both now that What Men Want is the better movie. What Women Want, I thought, was just a boring movie that had a couple good performances. If you don't know what th this is about, uh, one night uh, he he gets in, in a freak accident. Let's just say he has something happen to him without spoiling. He has something happen to him, and now he can hear what women are thinking. That's a blessing and a curse for this man. The only good thing I gotta say about it that I really, truly loved was Marissa Tomei. She is the reason to watch the movie. Marissa Tomei is the reason to watch any movie. She's gorgeous. She does great work in all of her films that I've seen. She's just a charming little actress. She brings everything to the movie. She brings her heart, soul, and spirit to the movie, and it is tremendous how much screen presence she has. I thought that Mel Gibson was going to be a relatively likable guy. Mm, no, it is just like what men want, but in this one, this one goes a bit more uh, raunchy with it. Or as it says, a bit more naughty with it. Yeah, yeah. Marissa Tomei does have a scene where she goes a bit far with it, but she gives her all to the role, and when you love her work, when you love Marissa Tomei, which how, how can you not? I mean, come on. With all the work that she's done, from My Cousin Vinny, which I haven't seen, all the way to playing May in Spider-Man, Homecoming, and Far From Home, I mean, come on. This is probably her worst movie she's been in that I've seen, but she's not even bad in the movie. It's just that the story did not interest me, and it's way too damn long. They stretch this thing out at to, to the most boring places. It's two hours, and it feels like you're sitting there for three. The pacing is terrible. It's not even all that funny whatsoever. Marissa Tomei is good in the movie, and there's no chemistry between... Helen Hunt, and Mel Gibson. I would have preferred if Mel Gibson ended up with Marissa Tomei because there was actually chemistry between them. But anyways, there's my review of What Women Want. It's going right in the cell pile. I'm giving What Women Want a D. I did not love What Men Want either, but, you know, to each their own. Stay tuned because I will have reviews for The Sure Thing. Well, The Sure Thing, Sweet Home Alabama. And three Hallmark movies, which are One Winter Weekend, One Winter Proposal, and Winter's Dream. As well as a Does It Hold Up uh, video for Ready or Not later this week.